Welcome back to J Music Talks. Today we will be doing a review on the Bopep Flute Side Saddle. The side saddle was designed to help you hold on to the flute, especially when moving between notes where you have very few fingers down, such as C sharp, to notes like D or E flat that require a lot of fingers. So going from no fingers to a lot of fingers. And it's supposed to ease um, ease the grip on this left hand here. As you can see, um, it does have the shape of an actual saddle, so just like a horse saddle. Uh, it is removable, so you can clip it right on and then adjust it to your own position. I'm currently trying out a new flute hand position that has my hands more forward um, to take away some of the tension in this wrist and to help balance the flute without the use of um, the mouth balancing it. So uh, when I use it, I use it about here. Uh, on your flute, but you can slide it up and down um, based on how long your fingers are right here, which kind of makes it a little bit more adaptable to a lot of other flutes. They do have a matching thumb port for your right hand. Uh, I don't know how, uh, if I'm really in love with the thumb port. I have one student using it and it's actually too small. Uh, it hits against the keys right here and does not sit in the right position for his thumb to be um, supportive of the instrument. So I don't know if I'm a huge fan of the thumb port, but I do not mind the side saddle. Um, I have several students using it right now and uh, I myself have been using it just to test it out for them. Um, so I'm going to give you just a little demo here. Um, if we were to go uh, C to D. You can see there's pretty minimal movement. C sharp to D. There's very minimal movement. Now, again, without the mouth there, there is just a little bit of movement, but not as much as you would expect um, without it there. So I like it because it just cre helps create that shelf in my hand um, without it. If I took it off here. Uh, if I go to do that, there's just a little bit more of a, almost a, a bounce, like a little bounce up where this hand hits um, and kind of knocks the flute a little bit up. So um, I just like it because it helps me hold on with this hand. And anything that can help me hold on, I'm down with. So this one is very affordable. Here in Canada, I believe I paid $15 for it and it's still going for $15. It comes in a triangular shape box and can be found at most of the local music stores. Uh, so it's very accessible. And I've had three students now really enjoy using it and especially with smaller hands, it very much helps to hold on to it, especially when you're first learning and you don't have a proper grip yet or you're working on a grip with your teacher. Uh, these can really come in handy for that. Not to say that they should train without it, because obviously they should know how to hold a flute without the assistance of this little um, device. However, it really does help create that shelf to support the flute with the left hand. Um, and it really helps with placement, I found as well, for the keys, so that um, they have a nice, relaxed hand position on the left hand. Um, we don't want to have any tension in the wrist or on the hands on either side, so we want to have a nice, smooth, uh, smoothed out wrist right here and as much of a smoothed out wrist as possible. You can see mine does have a slight bend, but that's due to um, my chest actually pushing out my arm a little bit, which cannot be helped, anatomy. So um, I do have several male flute players and their arm actually does sit flat. And therefore, when they're in this position, um, they have almost a perfectly straight wrist. And that's exactly what we want. We want to have nice um, straight wrists um, that do have the ability to add a slight curve and we want to have fingers um, that are just naturally curved as if you were just holding holding a cup or making a C shape. We want to have nice natural curved fingers so that they can move as freely as possible on the keys. This also helps with repetitive strain injuries, uh, it helps with tendonitis, it helps with any kind of tension and it really relieves it when playing. Obviously if you are experiencing any pain just stop playing. Do not push an injury. Do not push the feeling of pain when playing, especially in the fingers, the joints, wrists, any any area that um, has to do uh, with um, 
muscular movement because that's actually going to cause more injury if you push through pain um, than if you just took a break and then came back to it. Um, because we need to reset, we need to adjust posture. Um, again, you can always record yourself if you're wondering about your posture, if you're wondering about how your arms and wrists look and you don't have anyone um, to critique you, you can record yourself playing. Um, so I would suggest recording from a front on angle, side angle, and then another side angle. Maybe even a back angle if you're um, wanting to really see how this arm is. Um, personally, I do play a little more out just to um, help with this arm being more straight right here. Um, if I play with it down, it gets kind of like raptor arm. So um, I just sort of lift it up a little bit, have it a little more straight, and then the side saddle supports on this side so that I get as little bend as possible in my wrist on this side. Um, it's really helped with my tension. I do have an injury on my left wrist that causes um, a little bit of twitching and that twitching can really increase when I am experiencing tension or if I've overplayed that day. So this has helped with that and maybe it could help with someone else. So that's why I wanted to do this review and let you all know about this. I have been playing using this on and off for the last two years um, and I do enjoy it and it's a fairly uh, cost-effective version of uh, one of those really big um, hand supports. You can get those as well but um, I wanted to show you a cheaper alternative especially for um, students if you have them um, or younger players. Uh, these are hard plastic so it's not going to break easily and it can be slid up and down the flute so it can be adjustable to the player themselves. It does work on both straight and curved head joints, so even if your student is younger and playing on the curved head joint, uh, this side saddle does fit um, right in there on the keys. It has nothing to do with the head joint, so um, it really helps them hold on to it and help with the balance and just creating um, a nice smooth um, hand shape so that there's no tension in their playing. Thank you for watching my video on the Bow Pep side saddle for the flute. Please stick around, like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.